Aikamoinen ase kyllä, että rekyyli ei ole ehkä ihan niin paha kuin ootin, mutta voimaa on kyllä. But what's the name of the song? I am really excited to bring you this video today. The channel Beyond the Press sent us some goodies and they also have the channel the Hydraulic Press channel. We will propel these to over 1,000 miles per hour, but we can't really tell you how we're going to do that. These things are made out of compressed toilet paper. They are extremely hard, almost as hard as glass. And these were made on their hydraulic press using 140,000 pounds of pressure. I've got to tell you, I'm very honored that Beyond the Press sent these to me. It says a lot about their character. They're, they're not stuck up or anything like that. And they, it sounds like they really listen to their viewers too. Let's get out there and launch the toilet paper missiles. Okay, will the toilet paper uh, missile go through a roll of toilet paper? 1,000 mile an hour toilet paper missile. Okay, charge up the capacitors, release the hounds, and I'm ready. Here we go. All right, we got some good old American toilet paper, 425 sheets of double ply, that's 850 layers of toilet paper, and it went right through it like it was made out of a marshmallow. We have a really clean hole in the front. The back, not so clean. Kind of blew out a huge, massive chunk of toilet paper. The toilet paper missiles, just laughing at that roll of toilet paper. They make, they make some good toilet paper in Finland, apparently. It's still recognizable. We could almost launch it again. Okay, they also sent some to rolls of toilet paper that have been compressed on the hydraulic press. And in their, uh, they actually stopped bullets with uh, this, I think it took like three layers or something, but we want to compare the first shot, the whole, you know, the, the unmodified toilet paper to one that's been compressed. So we're just going to use one of these. Um, I'm ready when you are. Now this roll of toilet paper that's been compressed is made out of the same material as the toilet paper missile. So far the toilet paper missiles are proven to be quite accurate. I'm very impressed with the stability and power of these things so far. So what did it do? It obviously it, it went through, right? It went through. Oh, there's our slug, our, our <laughs> missile. Our missile. Turn that thing around and look at that blowout, baby. So it gives you, it gives you an idea how much power these uh, missiles have. Let me get a close-up of the recovered one. It's almost unrecognizable. Got a little smiley face on the back to show our appreciation for Hydraulic Press Channel, obviously. But uh, yeah, uh, it, it, much tougher, obviously, to go through that than through a, a, a regular roll of toilet paper, though, just by the amount of damage it did to this to the missile itself. Yeah, this was a full roll. Yeah. Look at the look at the force it must have taken to compress he must, that. He must work for Charmin because he sure knows how to squeeze it. <laughs> so there Mr. you go, Mr. Whipple. Very impressive. His own creation destroyed these other creation. 
Okay, charge the capacitors. Are they charged? Got them charged. You over the chronograph? Yes. Okay, I'm ready. 1588, I was close. I was saying 1500, 1588 feet per second, baby. The sheet paper missile, as we're calling it, went clean through the toilet lid. I guess you'd call it a seat too, but I think we call it a lid. I don't know, what do you think? Toilet paper wiped out that one. <laughs> and we found our slug, we recovered that. You can see the little happy face on there. Kind of pulverized it a bit there. Yeah. Softened it up. Still hard, but it's took an enormous amount of abuse while it was delivering abuse. Very cool. Let's find another target. Okay, how about the uh, the Chuck Norris of candy, the ballistic gummy bear. Almost impervious to any damage. Extremely tough. I don't think it'll go through. What's your guess? Uh, I, I don't think it will. That stuff's uh, pretty, pretty gummy. It's very dense, very sticky. We've got Let's a little go. bit of a runny nose. Let's we'll see if we can wipe it with some toilet paper. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one kind of surprised me. I thought it would just go in about half an inch, but it just it just burrowed its way through there like uh, like Mr. Plow plowing through snow. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with these toilet paper uh, missiles. I thought they might fall apart, break apart before they even hit the target. Now, what's interesting about these uh, toilet paper missiles is they're not, there's no glue involved. It's just held together with pure compressive force. And I hope you'll check out Beyond the Press's video on how they made these things. And let them know that you saw this video and you know appreciate what they did and everything because I, I really do appreciate it anyway we got a link in the description we got the card up in the upper right corner and all that stuff so go check them out when you're done here whatever you want to call it there's a block of uh, stuff yeah the clay block ladies and gentlemen inside of a box so it doesn't splatter all over the place uh, Let's see if we get a little closer. I, just, I hate when I miss with the toilet paper. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. There we go. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. For a really big cylinder of just toilet paper, these things flew pretty well. The accuracy was pretty good too. But look at that. Look at the expansion of that clay. It just it almost turned it into a ball from a cube. Very bizarre. And there it is. There's the toilet paper missile there with the little smiley face on the back. <laughs> okay, finally we've got a, a stack of I don't know, 30 uh, CD ROMs. Nobody uses CD-ROMs anymore. Let's see if we can drill it right through that center though. Was that before or after the floppy disk? <laughs> after the LP. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. This is our All last right. one. This should be a pretty beautiful uh, finale. I'm ready. Last one. Here we go. Woo! Oh, that was pretty. All right, here comes the toilet paper missile flying at almost Mach 1.4. We can see a few little bits of toilet paper flaking off of it. I thought that was kind of neat. But it managed to burrow itself all the way through that stack of CDs. I don't know why I still have CDs. Now that we have thumb drives that can hold terabytes on them, you know, a stupid CD that holds, what, 760 megs? I mean, you can't even put a movie on, on one CD. 
Okay, what happened to the C the stack of CDs? Well, yeah, it's not a stack anymore. That was kind of pretty. Yeah. I'm anxious to see the slow mo on that one. Oh, the the slug is. I mean, the projectile is most damaged of all. It it really came apart. What it did towards the end there. Look at that. It actually cupped them. Yeah, a whole bunch of them like that. I thought it would just shatter it. Surprisingly flexible plastic. Yeah. It, it, it is flexible, but it will shatter under severe trauma. That's quite a mess there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's several of them. You can see where the slug started punching through. Yeah, a lot of energy. I, these were, I think they had just the right amount of weight, you know, about 11 grams. Nice, hefty thing, not too light. They were pretty accurate, not super accurate, but we didn't have big targets up here either, though. It's kind of pretty. Yeah. You wear that Kevlar to, vest. Wear that to the ball and. <laughs> Little child size Kevlar vest. Costume in here. Yeah. Well, we got a mess to clean up, but we want to thank the Hydraulic Press Channel for sending these things to us. It was a lot of fun. Two thumbs up for that one. Yeah, it was great. I think people are going to enjoy it. Of course, they're going to say we should have done this or then we did something wrong. But if we did everything right, they'd have nothing to comment about. Right? That's why I never hit any of my targets. Yeah. yeah. You got to give them something to comment about. You should have. You should have. People can't. You aren't capable of making any compliments these days. You know, it's just criticism. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. But we really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you. I hope you'll take the time to rate the video. Hopefully good. I hope you'll comment too. Tell us what you liked, what you didn't like, and all that. But also check out Beyond the Press's video on how they made these things. The thing that surprised me the most is they actually pronounced my channel name correctly.